Okay, most people who are given an inheritance outright tend to lose all of it in one of five ways, and we're gonna go through each of them right now. Hey guys, Elliot Feldman here, estate planning attorney at the Elliot Feldman Law Group, where we create estate plans that actually work when your loved ones need it most. If you ever have any questions about this topic or need to talk about your estate planning needs, you can schedule a time to talk with me over the phone for free by going to myestatemeeting.com. Okay, let's talk about the five ways most people lose their inheritance that's given to them outright. So, the first way is in a future divorce. According to current statistics, anywhere from 40 to 50% of married couples in the US will get a divorce during their lifetime. As you know, when you get divorced, marital property is divided evenly. And while many people, and even lawyers, think that property division after marriage does not include an inheritance, this would not be the case for inherited assets that are brought into the shared property of the marriage. In practical reality, and in most cases, an inheritance received during a marriage will be commingled into marital property and become subject to division in a divorce. For example, let's assume I receive an inheritance of 50 grand and I use that 50 grand as a down payment on a home I share with my spouse. We live in that home and use marital assets to pay the mortgage. Some years later, we get a divorce. And in most cases, the full value of the marital home will be considered an asset of the marriage and the inherited assets absorbed into the marital estate for purposes of division in a divorce. And my inheritance is gone. And this is especially true if I receive the 50 grand in cash and I put that money in the joint bank account that I share with my wife, which they will definitely consider commingled money, and then comes the divorce and my inheritance, my inheritance is lost again. So if you have a married child or you have a child you think will get married in the future and you leave them their inheritance outright with no other protections in place and they do later divorce, as much as half of their inheritance could go to their ex-spouse slash your ex-son or daughter-in-law. So if you aren't working as hard as you are to support your child's future ex-spouse, you may not want to leave an inheritance outright to them. And as a side note, yes, an inheritance could be protected from a divorce with a prenup or postnuptial agreement uh, that specifically states that inherited assets do not become a part of the marital property ever. It's far more common that when people get engaged, they don't want to have the talk about prenups as it spoils the Disney movie moment slash love story that is soon to be their marriage. And so they never have the talk, they never get the prenup, and they just get married without one. The second way people lose their inheritance is through mismanagement. To put it plain and simple, most people who inherit money are not properly prepared to receive the money that comes in due to a lack of financial education, which leads them to either poorly investing the money or just squandering the money until the inheritance dwindles to zero. I mean, according to a study by former OSU professor Jay Zagorski, 40% of individuals inheriting, inheriting less than $100,000 will spend or lose the entire inheritance, and 18.7% of individuals who inherit more than 100,000 will spend or lose the entire inheritance as well. The third way people lose their inheritance is through bankruptcy. When an inheritance is left outright to a beneficiary, if that beneficiary ends up in extreme debt or even bankruptcy, the inheritance will be lost. How could this happen, you wonder? Well, the possible causes of such debt can be a business venture gone bad, or getting cancer and needing expensive chemotherapy treatments, or succumbing to addiction and needing to undergo treatment in an expensive private rehab center, or getting a disease that results in a temporary or permanent inability to work in combination with staggering hospital and medical bills. I mean, sometimes bad things just happen to even good, responsible people, you know? The fourth way people lose their inheritance is through being sued in a lawsuit. So let's say you left an inheritance to your son. Your son was texting while driving, runs the red light, and crashes into another car. Now let's say that caused the driver of the other car to end up in a coma, and eventually it was determined that that person would ultimately require lifetime 24-hour care, and your son gets sued by the driver's family and the jury awarded a $49 million judgment to the driver and his family against your son that he would have to now pay. Well, goodbye inheritance. Now, on a smaller level, I recently read a story about a person who accidentally left a faucet running at a friend's house uh, when, when he was visiting, and that resulted in a flood that caused over $400,000 in damage uh, that the insurance company is now looking to collect on. Um, if he was given an inheritance outright, it would be wiped out by this claim. The fifth reason why people lose their inheritance is due to lost work ethic. 
A wise man once said, some people can't handle prosperity. And you know what? He was right. In fact, most people can't. The founding director of the Institute for Preparing Heirs says that unprepared children who inherit money are susceptible to excessive spending, identity loss, and guilt over receiving money they didn't earn. As he once said, in a year to 18 months, everything falls apart, marriage, finances, and if there is a drug problem, it gets worse. So in summary, there are five ways a person, especially young adult children, being left an inheritance outright without any limitations or protections can lose their inheritance. Divorce, mismanagement, bankruptcy, lawsuits, and loss of work ethic can all play a part to strip you of an outright inheritance. But there is a way to prevent this from happening, and that is to leave an inheritance for your beneficiaries in a very specific type of trust, which we have named the Lifetime Asset Protection Trust. In fact, I explained how these special trusts work to protect your children from creditors, divorce, mismanagement, and lawsuits in my recent video titled, How Most Revocable Living Trusts Put Your Kids at Risk of Losing All of Their Inheritance. I highly recommend you check it out. Hey, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell next to it to be notified for new videos I post each week. And if you like it, then please hit the like button. And if you know someone that needs to hear this, please share it with them. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. And if you ever have any questions about this topic or need to talk about your estate planning needs, you can set up a time to talk with me over the phone for free by going to myestatemeeting.com. That's myestatemeeting.com. Again, this is Elliot Feldman, estate planning attorney at the Elliot Feldman Law Group, where we create estate plans that actually work when your loved ones need it most. Take care.